Alright, so today is Wednesday, and on Wednesday, Roblox automatically updates itself whenever you join a game. Because of this, all of my in-game customizations were reset, and I have to put them in again. Because it's pretty convenient for me right now, I'm going to show you guys how I make skybox textures to replace the default skybox in-game. If you're new to the idea of changing your skybox, basically all you're doing is replacing the image textures for the default skybox. What's unfortunate is the fact that the default skybox isn't used on all maps in Phantom Forces. A lot of the maps load in their own skybox, not the default one, so you're stuck with whatever the map creator put in. The only thing I'd really want from Stylus is a feature to force the default skybox at all times on all maps. That way you can use the custom skybox on all maps, or at the very least get a nice skybox reflecting gun on like all indoor maps like Warehouse and Metro. This isn't a tutorial on how to replace your skybox, there are plenty of those already, though you'll see how I change it in the video anyway, so that's probably enough anyways. Before we begin, let's look at how a skybox is used by the game. A skybox is basically a 360 image that's applied to a cube. Since a cube has 6 sides, the 360 image is turned into 6 textures. Despite being a cube, when viewed from the inside, it gives the illusion of a 3D image. The files have the extension .txt, but you can actually turn them into a PNG by just renaming them. This means that we don't need to use any special program to convert our textures into the right file format for Roblox. So let's actually start. You can find some 360 images by looking up Equi Rectangular on Flickr. I'm sure there's other websites, but I don't really know any others. Uh, remember that these images are protected by copyright, so like, don't resell the skybox you're making or don't do anything stupid that would infringe on their copyright. Like, think of it like changing your desktop screensaver. If you don't want to use a 360 image, you can actually just take any image that you want and use that to make your skybox. Though if you don't want any scenes on your skybox, then you would need to make the texture seamless in some image editing program. Okay, so basically what we're going to do in Blender is replace the sky in Blender with our 360 image, and then render out squares of our 360 image to use as our skybox texture. So the first thing you need to do is I have, I have a scene that has everything deleted already, but like the default Blender scene would have like a cube, a point light, and a camera. Uh, basically delete everything besides the cube and the point light. And let me enable screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so in the bottom left you can just see all my key inputs. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do after doing that is we're going to change our render engine over to Eevee. And then we're going to change our color management over to standard. So let's actually import our texture. Let's just slide this up. Go over to the shader editor. Right there. Change this to world, press shift A, search environment texture, and we're just going to plug this in. Okay. So let's actually import it too. Okay, so let's actually preview this. Press Z and then go over to render. Alright, so now that we have the environment set up, Let's set up the camera that's going to render our textures. Start by setting the camera's location and rotation. You can press N to open this. In item. Set its, all of its location to zero. Set all of its rotation to zero. Now let's go into the camera settings. And we change the lens unit to field of view. And you can change the field of view to 90. Okay, so let's keyframe our animation. If we refer back to how the skyboxes are mapped, we need to make sure that the order that we render in matches how the textures are mapped, just so that we know how to like rename them later. Let's see, let me uh, drag here to open up my... Like in the bottom left here, open up another viewport, set this over to our timeline, and we're on frame 1 right now. So frame 1 is rendering DN. Uh, let's keyframe this, so with the camera selected, just press I and keyframe rotation. Alright, so make sure all of your keyframes match my rotation. The first one should all be 0, the next one should be 90 in the X, 90 in the Z. Next should just be 90 in the X, 
Next is 90 in the X. Negative 90 in the Z. Next is 90 in the X. Negative 180 in the Z. And lastly, facing upwards, is just 180 in the X. So now let's limit our uh, frames over to 6. So over here, this is the start of our animation on frame 1. We just want 6 frames because we only have 6 frames. Now let's change our, out, our actual resolution that we're going to render at. Uh, Roblox uses 1024 by 1024. And let's set up a folder to render this in. So just make one. Okay. And this would basically be it, but if I were to preview this by pressing numpad 0 on my um, numpad. <laughs> okay. If you can flick through the frames, you see that the skybox isn't straight. And that's because the actual image that I'm using isn't straight. If I pull up an actual image, you know, like an actual 360 image, usually they're actually straight. Like the horizon line on this image is flat. This one's like curvy and wavy for some reason. So all I'm going to do is adjust that. So if you just press Control T with the Node Wrangler add-on, let me go to that real quick. Node Wrangler, make sure this add-on is enabled, it makes everything better. Um, with Node Wrangler enabled, and with the mapping node in here, we can change the rotation. And I'm just gonna change this until all that looks about straight. So now we have our animation. So to render this, just go over to the top left. Render, render animation. Okay, so so now that we have our textures, all we have to do is rename them. So even if you just look at it right now, you can see that this would have to be BK. I'll just throw like a graphic on the screen that shows how these should be mapped. So let's just rename these. Um, Start with DN. DK. RT. FT. LF. And up. Okay, now all you have to do is replace your sky texture. Um, Roblox also has these indoor sky textures. Uh, Phantom Forces doesn't use these, but I like to change them anyways. So all I do is I duplicate this and change it to these as well. You don't have to do this step, but you know, I just do it just because in case there's like another Roblox game, it will change the skybox texture on those if it's using the indoor textures. Alright, so just copy these, throw them into here, and now we can join in game and see if it actually works. Okay, so we're on height right now, and uh, the skybox loaded. Pretty cool. And I'm dead. My trap rap one two three. The ghost. Love to smash. Wow, I hate this game. Okay.